is Maria Radu, and I'm one of the international associate editors of the Euro Intervention Journal. It is my pleasure to welcome today uh, Dr. Thomas Rolander, uh, who has come here from the Medical University of Silesia in Poland to discuss his latest paper on combined NIRS and IVUS in a single catheter to detect vulnerable plaques with a head-to-head -head comparison with OCT. Welcome, Dr. Rolander. Welcome. So, uh, could you give us, give us briefly uh, the background for your, for your study? Well, uh, we want to try to improve the NIRS imaging, which was uh, late, uh, uh, lately combined with IVUS imaging and we try to make this tool able to detect vulnerable plaques. Okay. So, uh, which are the key findings of your study? We found that the plaques which has an LCBI, which has lipid core burden index calculated by NIRS, uh, if it's higher than more than 300, and if the plaque is positively remodeled in IVUS, it indicates that it's a thin fibrous cap ateroma, which was uh, done against the OCT measurements. Okay, so if we would go beyond this, what would be the clinical applicability of your results? Well, we can detect now with NIRS and IVUS po possible vulnerable plaques. So maybe in the future we can detect those plaques which needs to be stented before they rupture. Okay, so finally, if you could give us briefly in one sentence uh, the take home message of your paper. Well, the take home message of my paper is that we still have to look for the best tool to find vulnerable plaque, and I guess that NIRS combined with IVUS is a new tool which enables us to detect those vulnerable plaques. That sounds great. Thank you for coming, and thank you to all for joining us here from EuroPCR in Paris.